Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to talk about TCG Player. Did you know that TCG Player has a subscription service? For just $6.99 a month, you get awesome perks. You can earn up to 3% bonus bucks for all orders $35 and up that you purchase through TCG Player. You also get free shipping on all TCG Direct orders with no minimum purchase. Your orders also ship first, meaning they will push your direct orders to the front of the line to fulfill them before anyone else. They also have kickback promotions available to subscribers only, giving you store credit for purchases you make during that promotion. You also get access to Channel Fireball's Pro Premium content automatically when you subscribe to TCG Player. So if you want credit towards your purchases, free shipping, priority fulfillment, exclusive promotions, and Channel Fireball Pro content, be sure to subscribe to TCG Player. As a bonus, the first 500 subscribers who join through our link get a $6.99 store credit to use, basically giving you the first month for free. This lets you try out the service and see if you like it. So go to my link in the description and be sure to use the promo code POWER when signing up. Remember, the $6.99 credit is only available to the first 500 subscribers, so sign up before they are gone. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Mike, Pouting Tibbet, Seller of Secrets. This is a control deck looking to execute Time Sieve or Displacer Kitten combos to win the game. Mike's opening hand contains a Marsh Flats, Exotic Orchard, Dothy Voidwalker, Vampiric Tutor, Arcane Signet, an Offer You Can't Refuse, and a Swan Song. Next, we have our Mox Pearl Patron James, Piloting Alela, Artful Provocateur. This is a Stacks deck looking to lock down the board and turn those pieces into attacking fairies. James' opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, Bloodstained Mire, Snow-Covered Island, Vault of Champions, Counterbalance, Avon Mind Sensor, and the Reality Chip. After that, we have our Mox Pearl Patron Jordan, piloting Falco Spara, Pact Weaver. This deck seeks to put a ton of counters onto creatures, cast from the top of its library through Falco, then win with combat. Jordan's opening hand contains a Trinket Mage, Veil of Summer, Temple Garden, Mother of Runes, Sylvan Library, Noble Hierarch, and a Command Tower. Finally, we have Drake, piloting Bergy, God of Storytelling. This is a mono-red Storm deck looking to gain mana through its commander before winning with Aetherflux Reservoir or Grape Shot. Drake's opening hand contains a Ride of Flame, Treasonous Ogre, War Room, Snow-Covered Mountain, Valakut Awakening, Reverberate, and a Gamble. Without further ado, let's kick off this polite political ponderous pounding. Mike won the Salt and Ice Challenge and gets to start us off. Mike draws a card for turn and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Jeweled Lotus and passes the turn. James draws a card for turn, plays a Polluted Delta, and passes. Jordan draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Noble Hierarch. Jordan ends his turn. Drake draws and plays a Snow-Covered Mountain. Drake passes. At the end of Drake's turn, Mike casts Vampiric Tutor. In response, James cracks his Polluted Delta, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. Then Mike fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. The turn moves to Mike. Mike draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts an Arcane Signet. He casts a Dothy Voidwalker. Mike gives the turn to James. James draws and plays a Snow-Covered Island. He casts an Aethersworn Cannonist. The table mumbles a bit, and James ships the turn to Jordan. Jordan draws and plays a Temple Garden into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Sylvan Library. Jordan ends his turn. Drake draws, plays a Snow-Covered Mountain, and passes. During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays an Underground River. He casts his Commander, Tivit, Seller of Secrets. Tivit enters, each player votes, Mike votes twice, and then creates three treasures and two clues. Mike cracks a clue to draw a card. Mike passes. James draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He casts Counterbalance. James gives the turn to Jordan. During his draw step, Jordan draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He plays an Island for turn. He casts a Soul Ring. Counterbalance triggers, and James reveals a Force of Negation. Jordan casts Mother of Runes. Jordan passes. Drake draws and plays a War Room. Knowing what's on top of James's library, Drake passes. At the end of Drake's turn, Mike cracks a clue to draw a card. During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Drake with Tibbet. Drake takes it, Tibbet triggers, each player votes, and Mike creates four treasures and a clue. In his second main phase, Mike plays a Hallowed Fountain into play tapped. Mike ships the turn to James. James draws and plays a Vault of Champions. He cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Alela, Artful Provocateur. James gives the turn to Jordan. During his draw step, Jordan draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. In his main phase, he casts a Trinket Mage. Counterbalance triggers, and James states that he will let the table know when he chooses to reveal. Trinket Mage enters, and Jordan fetches up a Sensei's Divining Top into his hand. He casts Sensei's Divining Top. He activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. He activates Top, drawing a card and putting Top on top. He casts an Asper Sentinel. 
In response, Drake casts Valakut Awakening. He puts two cards on bottom and then draws three. Then Awakening goes into exile with a Void Counter on it through Dothi Voidwalker. Then Esper Sentinel resolves. Jordan casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Malevolent Hermit. He plays a Gemstone Caverns for turn. Jordan passes. Drake draws and casts a Soul Ring. Esper triggers and Jordan draws. He casts his Commander, Bergy, God of Storytelling. Drake ends his turn. At the end of Drake's turn, Mike cracks a clue to draw a card. Also in the end step, Mike casts Enlightened Tutor. Esper triggers and Mike pays. Counterbalance triggers and James reveals a Sea of Clouds. With Tutor still on the stack, James casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost. Esper triggers and Jordan draws. Fierce counters Tutor and the turn moves to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Jordan with Tivit. Jordan takes it, Tivit triggers, each player votes, and then Mike creates 3 treasures and 2 clues. In his second main phase, Mike cracks a clue and draws a card. He casts Talisman of Dominance, paying the Esper tax. He casts Graftigger's Cage. This disrupts multiple players' plans, so in response, Jordan casts Pact of Negation, countering Graftigger's Cage. Next, Mike cracks a clue and draws a card. He plays a Vernant Catacombs for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. Mike ships the turn to James. James draws and plays a Sea of Clouds. He casts the Reality Chip. A Layla triggers and James creates a Fairy. He looks at the top card of his library through the Reality Chip. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with a Layla. Mike takes it and James gains 2 life. James gives the turn to Jordan. During his upkeep, Jordan pays for his Pact of Negation. During his draw step, he draws 2 extra through Sylvan Library, paying 4 life to keep 1 extra. In his main phase, he casts Sensei's Divining Top. He casts Mystic Remora. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Trinket Mage. Noble Hierarch's Exalted triggers and Trinket Mage gets plus 1 plus 1. Mike takes it and finished up, Jordan passes. Drake draws and plays a Prismatic Vista. He passes. During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Jordan with Tivit. Jordan takes it, Tivit triggers, everyone votes, and Mike creates 3 treasures and 2 clues. In his second main phase, Mike cracks 2 clues and draws 2 cards. He casts Dranith Magistrate. In response, James flashes in an Aven Mind Sensor. In response, Drake cracks his Prismatic Vista, pays a life, and fetches up a snow-covered mountain onto the battlefield. Then Mind Sensor resolves, then Dranith resolves. Mike plays a Godless Shrine into play tapped. All through, Mike ends his turn. James draws and starts off his turn by reconfiguring the Reality Chip, targeting Ethersworn Canonist. In response, Drake casts Chaos Warp, targeting Ethersworn Canonist. Esper and Mystic trigger and Jordan draws two. Bergy triggers and adds a red. It resolves, James shuffles Canonist into his library and then reveals a Necropotence, which is way worse. James looks at the top card of his library through the Reality Chip. He activates Necropotence, paying a life and exiling the top card of his library. He pays two more life into Necro, exiling two more cards, looking at each card before he exiles them through the Reality Chip. He plays a Godless Shrine into play untapped, paying two life. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Aven Mind Sensor and Alayla. Mike takes it and James gains two. James moves to his end step and, in response, Drake activates War Room, paying a life and drawing a card. Then James puts the Necro cards into his hand. James passes. During his upkeep, Jordan pays to keep his Remora. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting both back on top. He casts an Allosaurus Shepherd. He casts Spellseeker. It enters, he searches the top four through Avon, and then puts Noxious Revival into his hand. Jordan activates top, rearranging the top three. Jordan ends his turn. Drake draws and starts off his turn by casting Treasonous Ogre. Counterbalance triggers, and in response, James looks at the top card of his library through the Reality Chip. He activates Necro, paying a life, exiling the top card. He looks at the top through the Reality Chip again. He activates Necro, paying a life, and exiling the top card. With Counterbalance still in the stack, James casts Enlightened Tutor. Mystic and Esper trigger, and in response, James activates Necro, paying a life, and exiling the top card. Then Jordan draws two cards. Then Tutor resolves, and Jordan fetches up a moat onto the top of his library. With the Counterbalance trigger still in the stack, Drake casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Counterbalance. Fergie, Counterbalance, Mystic, and Esper all go onto the stack. Jordan draws two cards, and then in response, James casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card, targeting Red Blast. Mystic triggers and Jordan draws. In response, Mike casts Swan Song, targeting Force of Negation. Mystic and Esper trigger, and Mike pays for both. Swan Song then counters Force, and James creates a 2-2 bird. With the counterbalance trigger still in the stack, Jordan activates his top, drawing a card and putting top on top. Then James activates Necro two times, paying two life, looking at each card through the reality chip. Then counterbalance's trigger resolves, and James reveals a wash away, countering Red Blast. Then Drake adds a red through Bergy. With the original counterbalance trigger still on the stack, James activates Necropotence 12 times, paying 12 life, exiling 12 cards, looking at each card in between through the reality chip. 
he decides it's not worth digging anymore and declines to reveal from counterbalance, and then Treasonous Ogre resolves. Drake casts Grape Shot, with one copy targeting Allosaur Shepard, two targeting Abe and Mind Sensor, and the rest targeting Doffy Voidwalker. Fergie and Mystic Trigger, Jordan draws, and Drake adds a red. In response, Jordan activates Mother of Runes, giving Allosaur Shepard protection from red until the end of turn. Also in response, Mike sacrifices Dothy Voidwalker, targeting Enlightened Tutor in James's graveyard. Then Grape Shot resolves, and Aven dies. Drake activates Treasonous Ogre, paying 3 life and adding a red. He casts Imperial Recruiter. Fergie triggers, and in response, Jordan convokes Court of Calling, where X equals 3. In response, Drake pays 6 life and adds 2 red to help cast Reverberate, targeting Court of Calling. Fergie and Mystic trigger, Jordan draws, and then Drake adds a red. Reverberate resolves, copying Court of Calling. Cord resolves, and Drake fetches up a Dualcaster Mage onto the battlefield. Dualcaster enters and copies Cord of Calling again. Then Drake fetches up a Magus of the Moon onto the battlefield. With Cord still on the stack, Mike casts Enlightened Tutor for free through Dothy. Remora triggers, and Jordan draws. Tutor resolves, and Mike fetches up a Time Sieve onto the top of his library. Then Jordan's Cord of Calling resolves, and Jordan fetches up an Aven Mind Sensor onto the battlefield. Then Drake adds a red through Bergy, and Imperial Recruiter resolves. Drake searches the top 4 through Mind Sensor, failing to find. Next, Drake casts a Dire Fleet Daredevil, adding a red through Bergy. It enters and exiles Mike's Vampiric Tutor. He goes to cast it, but Mike reminds him of the Dranith Magistrate on the battlefield. Dismayed, Drake moves to combat. He attacks Mike with Bergy. Mike takes it, and finally finished up, Drake passes. During his upkeep, Mike loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Jordan with Tibbet. Jordan blocks with Aven Mind Sensor. Mind Sensor dies, and in his second main phase, Mike casts Teferi, Time Raveler. Counterbalance, Esper, and Remora all trigger. Jordan draws from Remora, and Mike pays for Esper. In response to Counterbalance, James looks at the top card of his library through the Reality Chip. He activates Necropotence, paying a life, and exiling the top card. He activates Necro six more times, paying six life, exiling six cards, looking at each through the Reality Chip. Then Counterbalance resolves, and James reveals an Arcane Laboratory, countering Teferi. Next, Mike casts Time Sieve. Counterbalance and Remora trigger. Jordan draws from Remora, and with Counterbalance still in the stack, James activates Necro and Reality Chip three times, paying three life, exiling three cards. He then reveals Lavinia, Azorius Renegade through Counterbalance, countering Time Sieve. Mike, thwarted in his plans, passes to James. James skips his draw step due to Necropotence. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with Alayla. Drake takes it, and James gains two. James moves to his end step, putting the Necro cards into his hand. He passes, discarding to hand size, exiling the discarded cards. During his upkeep, Jordan pays for his Remora. During his draw step, Jordan draws true extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. In his main phase, he casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Magus of the Moon. In response, Mike taps his Talisman to cast an Offer You Can't Refuse. Esper and Remora trigger, and Mike pays for both. Offer counters Swords, and Jordan creates two treasures. Jordan recasts Sensei's Divining Top. He casts Path to Exile, targeting Magus of the Moon. Magus is finally exiled this time, and Drake fetches up a snow-covered mountain onto the battlefield tapped. Jordan casts Summoner's Pack. He fetches up a Defiler of Vigor into his hand. He casts Defiler of Vigor while everyone pulls up Scryfall to read exactly what that creature does. Jordan pays 2 life through Defiler to cast Birds of Paradise. Defiler triggers, and in response, James flashes in a Dress Down. Alayla, Esper, and Remora trigger. Jordan draws, James pays for Esper, and then James creates a Fairy. In response, Jordan activates his top, drawing a card, putting top on top, looking for an answer. He does not find it, Dress Down resolves, and James draws a card. Then Defiler's trigger resolves, and Jordan puts a plus one plus one counter on all of his creatures. Then Birds resolves. Jordan plays a Rejuvenating Springs for turn. He casts a Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds three green through his carpet. He casts Uvenwald Tracker. He casts an Arbor Elf. He hard casts Noxious Revival, putting Path to Exile on top of his library. Plans thwarted this turn, Jordan passes. At the end of Jordan's turn, Dress Down is sacrificed. Also in the end step, James casts Suspend, exiling Treasonous Ogre with two time counters on it. Then Jordan discards the hand size, and the turn moves to Drake. During his upkeep, Drake removes a time counter from Treasonous Ogre. He draws and casts Gamble. Fergie, Remora, and Esper trigger, Jordan draws two, and then Drake adds a red. He then fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Simeon Spirit Guide. Drake casts Wheel of Fortune. Bergy and Remora trigger, Jordan draws, and Drake adds a red. In response, Mike casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Dualcaster Mage. Esper and Remora trigger, and Jordan draws two. Then Swords exiles Dualcaster Mage, and Drake gains two life. With Wheel still on the stack, James casts Swansong. Esper and Remora trigger, and Jordan draws two. With nothing else, Swansong counters Wheel, and Drake creates a 2-2 bird. 
Next, Drake activates War Room, paying a life and drawing a card. He casts Sensei's Divining Top. Fergie and Remora trigger, Jordan draws, and Drake adds a red. Drake uses his floating red to activate top, rearranging the top three. With nothing else, Drake ships the turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Drake with Tibbet. Drake takes it, Tibbet triggers, everyone votes, and Mike creates three clues and two treasures. In his second main phase, Mike cracks three clues to draw three cards. He plays a Sea of Clouds for turn. Mike passes. At the end of Mike's turn, James activates Necro two times, paying two life and exiling two cards, looking at each card through the reality chip. James skips his draw step due to Necropotence. In his main phase, he casts Heliod Suncrown. Alayla triggers and James creates a fairy. He moves to combat and attacks Jordan with Alayla, two fairies, and his bird. Jordan blocks the bird with his birds of paradise. Before damage, Jordan casts Path to Exile, targeting Alayla. In response, James casts Delay. Esper and Remora trigger, and in response, Mike flashes in a Notion Thief. In response, Drake activates his top, drawing a card and putting top on top. Notion Thief resolves, then Jordan declines to draw off of Remora, and since Esper isn't a May ability, Mike draws through Notion Thief. Then Delay resolves, countering and exiling Path with three time counters on it. Still before damage, Jordan activates Mother of Runes, giving Birds of Paradise protection from blue until the end of turn. Then Jordan takes it, and James gains two. Heliod triggers, and James puts a plus one plus one counter onto Alayla. Finished up, James gives the turn to Jordan. During Jordan's upkeep, Summoner's Pact, Mana Crypt, Remora, and Path to Exile all go onto the stack. He removes the time counter from Path to Exile. He lets his Remora die. He must win his Mana Crypt roll or he loses. He rolls and wins. He then pays for his Summoner's Pact. During his draw step, he skips his Sylvan Library trigger due to Notion Thief. In his first main phase, he adds three green through his carpet. Jordan activates his Uvenwald Tracker, having Trinket Mage fight Dranith Magistrate. Since Trinket Mage has a counter on it, Dranith dies. Next, Jordan casts his commander, Falco Spara, Pact Weaver. Defiler of Vigor triggers, and Jordan puts a plus one plus one counter onto each of his creatures. Then Falco Spara enters with a shield counter. He looks at the top card of his library through Falco. He removes a counter from Arbor Elf to help cast Ledger Shredder from the top of his library through Falco. Counterbalance triggers, and James reveals a Wish Claw Talisman countering Shredder. Jordan casts Wall of Roots. Defiler triggers, and each creature gets a counter. He puts a counter onto Wall of Roots, adding a green. He casts Mold Adder. Defiler triggers, and each creature gets a counter again. He casts Orochi Leaf Caller. Defiler triggers, and each creature gets a counter. He casts Avacyn's Pilgrim, and each creature gets a counter through Defiler. He plays a Savannah for turn. He casts Sensei's Divining Top. He moves to combat and attacks James with Defiler of Vigor, Esper Sentinel, and Noble Hierarch, attacks Mike with Mother of Runes, Spellseeker, and Allosaur Shepherd, and attacks Drake with Trinket Mage. Mike asks if he would like to reconsider his attacks, but Jordan declines Mike's shoddy politics. So in response, James activates Necro two times, paying two life and exiling two cards. Then in response, Mike casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Hesper triggers and Mike draws through Notion Thief. Then, with no other answers, all opponent's permanents are bounced. Completely blown out, and in his second main phase, Jordan casts Chrome Mox and printing Avacyn's Pilgrim. He casts Birds of Paradise. With nothing else to do, Jordan passes, discarding a lot of cards to hand size, putting Falco Spara into the command zone. During his upkeep, Drake removes the final time counter from Treasonous Ogre, casting it. He draws and recasts his commander, Bergy, God of Storytelling. He casts a Soul Ring, adding a red through Bergy. He casts Imperial Recruiter, adding a red through Bergy again. Recruiter enters, and Drake fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. He casts Dockside Extortionist, adding a red through Bergy. It enters, and with the trigger on the stack, Mike cracks his treasure, adding a white. Then Drake creates four treasures. Drake moves to a second main phase, forcing Mike to fizzle his floating mana. He casts Sensei's Divining Top, adding a red. He casts Dire Fleet Daredevil, adding a red again. It enters, and exiles Swords to Plowshares from Mike's graveyard. He casts Mike's Swords to Plowshares, targeting Notion Thief, adding a red through Bergy. In response, James casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting swords. Then Flusterstorm counters Swords of Plowshares. Drake activates Treasonous Ogre, paying three life, adding a red. He casts a Strived Twin Flame, targeting his Dire Fleet and his Dockside. Bergy triggers and adds a red. Twin Flame resolves and Drake creates copies of Dire Fleet and Dockside. Dockside triggers and Drake creates four treasures. Dire Fleet triggers and Drake exiles Swords to Plowshares from Jordan's graveyard this time. Drake activates Ogre, paying three life and adding a red. He casts Hazaret's Undying Fury. Bergy triggers and adds a red. It resolves, Drake shuffles, and then reveals Faithless Looting, Reforge the Soul, Act on Impulse, and Defense Grid, casting them all. Bergy triggers, adding four red. Defense Grid resolves, and with the other spells on the stack, Drake casts Swords to Plowshares from Exile through Dire Fleet, targeting Notion Thief. Notion Thief is exiled, and Mike gains three life. 
then act on impulse resolves and Drake exiles Urza's Saga, Memory Jar, and Ragavan Nimble Pilfer. Then reforge the soul resolves and everyone discards their hand and draws 7. Then Faithless Looting resolves and Drake draws 2 and discards 2. Drake casts Desperate Ritual, adding a red through Bergy, then adding 3 more red. He casts Past and Flames, adding a red. He flashes back Desperate Ritual, adding a red, then adding 3 more red. He flashes back Twin Flame, adding a red, creating a copy of Imperial Recruiter. Recruiter enters and Drake fetches up a Grinning Ignis into his hand. He casts Grinning Ignis, adding a red through Bergy. Drake presents a loop of using his red through Bergy to return Ignis to his hand, adding 2 and a red, and then using that mana to recast Ignis, adding a red through Bergy again. Using this loop, he can generate Infinite Storm. Drake flashes back Grape Shot with a high enough storm count to kill the table. Drake's opponents eat their grapes, and Drake wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic game. What an incredible showing by every player tonight. Everyone was jockeying for position and attempting to win. This was a fantastic pod tonight, and we loved every moment. Congrats to Drake on his win. He capitalized on his seat position right after Mike cast his Cyclonic Rift. He was able to navigate his turn, played each card for its maximum value, and closed out the game in spectacular fashion. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.